Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is short key barrier diode. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. <clears throat> Draw and explain the operation of, uh, draw the construction details and explain operation of uh, short key barrier diode. As well as it may be asked to draw the VI characteristics of this diode and explain those characteristics. Or the question may be like this. Compare short key barrier diode with normal conventional PN junction diode. <clears throat> as far as this short key barrier diode is concerned, it is somewhat different as compared to the normal PN junction diode. This diagram shows the structure of short key barrier diode. We know that in case of normal diode, there are two junctions P and N region, and uh, one is anode, another is cathode. Same way here, uh, this part indicates the anode terminal. This is the metal surface. This metal acts as an anode and uh, the metal contacts are taken out. This is N-type semiconductor layer which is N-type silicon to which cathode terminal is connected. This part provides the metal contact. So this, this metal acts as anode whereas this N-type semiconductor acts as a cathode. In between anode and cathode, the junction is created similar to the junction of normal PN junction diode. These are SiO2 layers. Now, in this case, in case of a short key barrier diode, the major uh, principle is here electrons are the majority carriers. <clears throat> now, as I said, the junction is formed between metal and semiconductor. So between this, me this metal and semiconductor, N-type silicon, a junction is created. Whenever the junction is formed between these two surfaces, metal and semiconductor, then electrons from this N-type semiconductor, N-type uh, silicon, starts flowing towards the metal surface with very high velocity. Uh, this is called excessive flow of electrons. The kinetic energy of such electrons which are transferring, which are moving from this N-type semiconductor towards the metal is more so these electrons those electrons are called hot carriers so injected electrons injected electrons means electrons which are transferring from n type semiconductor to the metal are having high kinetic energy which are called hot carriers <clears throat> it creates a region near the junction surface so because of this uh, because of this motion of electrons a region near this surface junction is created so these additional uh, carriers in a metal creates a negative wall inside the metal at the junction surface. See, the electrons are moving, whenever junction is formed, electrons are moving, start moving from N-type uh, silicon, N-type semiconductor towards the metal. In the metal, already certain electrons are there. So excessive flow of electrons from N-type semiconductor to the metal takes place after some time. This happens whenever the junction is formed. After some times, the electrons which are present in the metals creates a negative wall. <clears throat> so it creates a negative wall inside the metal at the boundary, at this boundary. This is called the surface barrier and it prevents the further motion of the current. So it prevents further flow of the current. Now, this is the case whenever the junction is just created. When we apply forward bias to this, we know that to apply the forward bias, we need to connect positive uh, supply, external positive supply to the anode terminal, negative to the cathode terminal. So whenever the junction is forward bias, this negative barrier which is created because of the electrons present in the metal gets reduced. This happens because you have provided external supply, the positive terminal of external supply attracts the electrons towards it. So, because of this, the barrier gets reduced and the heavy flow of electrons starts uh, taking place across the junction. This is the way how this uh, short key barrier diode works. Now, this flow of electrons, whenever you are applying forward bias, the flow of electrons starts taking place because it will reduce the barrier. So, this flow can be controlled by controlling the forward bias which is applied to this device. Next is current versus voltage characteristics of short key barrier diode. For the comparison, I have drawn the characteristics, IV characteristics of normal PN junction diode as well as short key diode on the same uh, graph. 
This black color diagram indicates the IV characteristics for normal PN junction diode. We know that in case of normal PN junction diode, this is the forward bias condition, this one is reverse bias condition. The nature of a graph uh, of this Schottky barrier remains same as that of the normal PN junction diode. Only slight differences are there. This red colored diagram indicates the graph or IV characteristics of Schottky barrier diode. As we can observe from this diagram, the breakdown voltage of Schottky barrier diode is less compared to the breakdown voltage of normal PN junction diode. The normal PN junction diode breakdown voltage is at this point. So breakdown voltage is less uh, compared to the normal PN junction diode. <clears throat> now this diode, uh, whereas the forward characteristics nature remains same, this diode has low cut-in voltage, which is typically 0.2 volt. Now the breakdown voltage is less as compared to the normal diode, as I just now mentioned, it is around 50 volt. But there is a reverse leakage flow of current. So this flow of current, which is called as a reverse leakage flow of current, is due to the motion of electrons from metal to the semiconductor. So there is high uh, leakage uh, current that is flowing from metal to the semiconductor. Now this represents the symbol of Schottky barrier diode. This is anode terminal, this is cathode terminal. We know that in case of a normal diode, the symbol is like this. But in case of Schottky barrier diode, the symbol is as shown in this diagram. Now, advantages of this Schottky barrier diode, it has a low on state forward voltage drop, FV means forward voltage drop. Then it is having high uh, switching speeds. So they are much applicable in the microwave range. And there is less power dissipation compared to the normal PN junction diode. Then disadvantages, uh, see, in this, in case of Schottky barrier diode, just now we discussed VBR is less compared to the normal PN junction diode because of which PIV rating is low uh, because of the low VBR. Then there is a high leakage current. That's what we discussed just now. Its applications includes SMPS, switched mode power supply, then AC to DC converters. Then in case of radar system, uh, in, in the TTL logics used in computer systems, this acts as a switch. Then in case of uh, mixers and detectors for the communication system. So this is about the VI characteristics, advantages, disadvantages and applications of Schottky barrier diode. Next, let us discuss the comparison between normal PN junction diode and Schottky barrier diode. This is an important part. We have discussed the VI characteristics of both the diodes. There are uh, certain major differences as far as the VI characteristics are concerned. So this chart gives us comparative analysis between PN junction, that is normal PN junction diode and Schottky barrier diode. So first parameter is forward voltage drop. In case of PN junction diode, if you are using silicon material, then it is 0 0.3 volt. Whereas in Schottky barrier diode, it is in the range 0 to 0 0.2 volt. PIV rating of uh, PN junction diode is around 150, whereas for Schottky barrier diode is 50 because we discussed that the breakdown voltage for Schottky barrier diode is less compared to the uh, breakdown voltage of normal PN junction diode. Then leakage current in normal PN junction diode is low. It is in the range of nanoamperes, whereas comparatively in case of Schottky barrier diode, the leakage current is high, which is in, uh, in, in the range of microamperes. Then Conduction in case of normal PN junction diode takes place due to both majority as well as minority carriers. Whereas in case of Schottky barrier diode, the conduction takes place only because of electrons. That is only because of minor majority carriers. Then the formation of uh, junction in this PN junction diode takes place between P and N semiconductor material. Whereas in case of Schottky barrier diode, the junction is formed between the metal and n-type semiconductor layer. The switching speed of PN junction diode is low, uh, whereas switching speed is high. That's why these short key barrier diodes are used at micro applications. Then applications of normal PN junction diode, normal or usual application, general application is they are used in rectifiers. 
whereas short key barrier diodes are used in switched mode power supply that is smps ac to dc converters ttl logics and so on so this is about the comparative chart of uh, pn junction diode and short key barrier diode so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video